In this part of the lecture, we'll see how to bundle these jQuery and JS files into our MVC application. So our purpose is to now see, we'll note down the names of these. This one is jQuery. We need not bundle it because it will already be bundled. jqplot.min.js jqplot.barrenderer, highlighter, cursor and point labels. So there are how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If you notice one thing, they are all ending with min. Min, 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 min. It is their minified versions that have been included in this example. But when you will go to search these in the download that we have downloaded from that website, you will find two versions for both of them, for each of them. For example, for this one, one version will be jQuery.jqplot.js and the other will be jQuery.jqplot dot min dot js so one version will be minified and the other will be normal version in the example he has used min 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 everywhere but he has provided both of them normal also and minified also so why is that done for every js and CSS file, you should always find both the versions. If you get a library from a standard distributor, he provides the minified also and normal also. Normal is used by debugging in debugging and min is used for production or release. When you are debugging your application, you will use the normal one. When you are releasing it for production, you will use the min one. So, since we are doing it with the MVC, we will have to follow the standard approach. What we will we'll have to make provision for both of them, debugging and production we'll have to provide for both of the scenarios and therefore when we are searching for these files we'll copy not only the normal version we'll also not only the min version we'll also copy the normal version also so i take note of these names and i come back to my this is what it has been provided to me and if i have a normal look at this then uh, I'll just show you some example here or better go to your this folder at the top uh, jQuery UI it's not the one here you can see this is jQuery dot jq plot this is the normal version and this is the min version of the same file. Similarly, you have like X canvas normal version, minified version. So if you are searching all those five files and also the CSS file at the bottom of that list, you should copy all the pairs from these documentation some of them you will find in this dist itself and some of them probably inside plugins so here you will find all of them renderer min then you will have to search this you will find all of them here so we will copy all of them the required ones into our MVC project I will do that and then you can proceed further so for my MVC part, I created a basic MVC app 